when I started my undergraduate degree, I was pretty sure that I was going to either go into medicine and become a psychiatrist or um, that I was going to go into neuropsychology. And I'm, I'm a pretty big, like, nerdy, sciencey kind of geeky person. And so I was really fascinated by neuroscience and the brain. And, um, and in my second year of my undergrad, uh, my grades were really suffering. And... Um, so I needed to take a course that was going to balance out all of the crappy grades I was getting in biochemistry and, and physics and, and whatnot. And so um, I, one of my friends said, hey, why don't you take this human sexuality course? And I thought, wow, that'll be fun. And I, it started me on a path that I just had no idea that it would take me here. Um, I loved the course. And there was, sort of, there was a, a really key moment for me in that... Um, taking that class, which uh, had actually a lot to do with shame, where uh, the professor had, was showing pictures of, um, of erotica and porn. And there was a lots of shock in the, you know, among the students in the audience. And one of the images was of a really tight close-up of a woman's vulva. And all these women around me, mostly women, I mean, there were men in the class as well, but it was just this resounding, ew. And that, to me, was fascinating. As I looked around, I thought, this is your body. This is how, why is this so repugnant to you? I mean, I get it. I understand that depictions, really frank depictions of women's genitals being really close up, seeing, you know, ridges and folds and hair and lubrication and what, all of that. This isn't something that we typically see, but at the same time, I was really sad to hear that because um, this was in some ways a really common sentiment of what women are taught about their own bodies. That they're dirty, that they're not very pretty, um, and that they should feel shameful. 